A warm welcome to the county ground in Swindon for this fourth meeting between Swindon Town and Bolton Wanderers in the Little, in the Little Woods Cup round three. This is the third replay. The first match between the two sides here at the county ground ended 3-3. We all trooped off up to Lancashire for the replay. It was 1-1 up there. And then seven days later, it was 1-1 once again. And so we find ourselves back at the county ground where it all began. And here are Swindon Town coming out to do battle with the third division side from Lancashire, Bolton Wanderers. Steve White there with a headband. He received eight stitches and a head wound up in Lancashire last Tuesday night. In the second replay between the two sides, he scored the goal, which brought us here, but uh, paid for his pains with that headband, which you'll wear for tonight's game, and indeed he wore at Port Vale in Swindon's 2-0 defeat up in the Potteries. There's Steve Foley making his first full appearance of the new season. He's been out with an ankle injury since the end of last term. He made a substitute appearance at Port Vale, but now he's back, and the bustling Steve Foley returns to Swindon Town's midfield. Duncan Shearer, he's also been on target against Bolton Wanderers in the first replay between the two sides. Bolton scored eight minutes from the end of extra time, but a minute later, Duncan Shearer equalised. There's today's mascot. He's David Goff from Chippenham. He's eight years old, and he plays for the Chippenham under-10s at right back. And uh, Swindon Tanner is second favourite team. His favourite team are the Chippenham under-10s, and quite right so. His favourite player is Fraser Digby. And his second favourite player is David Hockaday. So he's going to make his way up to the centre circle with town captain Colin Calderwood to present uh, his particular pennant to the Bolton Wanderers uh, supporters and uh, players as the choice of ends is taken by the two captains. And the Bolton Wanderers mascot too. So an exchange of pennants between the two mascots. And we all get ready for what should be a fine game of football. Tonight's match sponsor is the Seton Wills and Friends. So Swindon Town's grateful thanks go to him. So there's Dave Evans taking a photograph for posterity of the two linesmen tonight. They are Mr DJ Gallagher, he's the linesman with the red trim. With the yellow trim it's Mr G. Tay Pearson. The important man in the middle is Keith Cooper from Pontypri, if not the Keith Cooper from Swindon of course, who's also on the league list. The two uh, captains, Colin Coldwood from Swindon we've already mentioned and Phil Brown from Bolton Wanderers have uh, selected which ends they want and we prepare ourselves then for the start of this Littlewoods Cup third round third replay between Swindon Town and Bolton Wanderers let's run through the two sides for you in goal for Swindon Fraser Digby at two it's John Cornwall three Paul Bowden four Alan McLaughlin five is Colin Calderwood six John Gittins at seven it is Steve Foley he returns after injury to take the place of Tom Jones in midfield. At eight, it's Duncan Shearer. Nine is Steve White. Ten, Ross McLaren. Eleven is Fitzroy Simpson. And the substitutes, Tony Galvin and Sean Close. Bolton Wanderers, they have injury problems tonight as Barry Cadrill uh, just will roll this back perhaps to David Felgate in the Bolton goal. Several key players are out tonight. In goal for them is David Felgate. At two, it's Phil Brown. Three, Barry Cowdrill. Four, Paul Comstiv, who was 28 last Saturday. Five, Dean Crombie. Six is Mark Wynn Stanley. At seven, it's Paul Hughes. Eight, Steve Thompson. Nine, it's Mark Kame, who's in for the injured David Reeves. A very impressive forward indeed he is too. At ten, it's Mike Jeffrey, the striking partner of Reeves. Tony Phyllis Kirk is also out through injury. Eleven is Julian Darby. And the substitutes Ian Stevens and Phil Neal, the manager, of course, and former Liverpool and England fullback. Here's Barry Cowdrill once again, finding Felgate in that Bolton Wanderers goal. So lots of injury problems. Gary Henshaw is also missing from the Bolton Wanderers lineup. He too has injury problems. So Bolton missing their strike force tonight, and what an impressive strike force it is too. And it's not the sort of game that you want to come into any light. So we shall see what effect it has on Bolton Wanderers and what Swindon Town can do against their third division opposition here at the county ground. Here's Paul Bowden for Swindon Town, far side, plays it down the line, looking for Fitzroy Simpson. Back to Bowden. Julian Darby, though, quickly in there for Bolton Wanderers, finds Phil Brown. The ball goes off for Swindon player, who's Bowden, and Bolton get that throw in. 
Here is Phil Brown, scored a tremendous goal in the first replay of at Burnden Park. 20-yard shot which flew past Fraser Digby. Paul Comstiff has Keldrill in support. Comstiff will try the first shot of the evening's game and it's a good one. Fraser Digby has to go down. Took a slight deflection, I think, and Digby read it well. Paul Bowden. Looking for the headband of Steve White. Phil Brown. Here's Ross McLaren. Brown once again for Bolton. Steve Thompson. Mark Kame and John or Colin Coldwood rather tassling away. It's with Kame still. Gets a good cross in and Ross McLaren is forced to put the ball behind and that's the first corner of the night and it goes to Bolton Wanderers. Town's assistant manager Chick Bates says it's important for his side to get the early breakthrough tonight. Bolton have certainly come here looking as though they want to get the early goal. Here's the corner kick. Clear by uh, Fritzroy Simpson, but not too positively. And Bowden eventually finds Fraser Digby. Large crowd here to see this fourth match between the sides. It's the longest Littlewoods Cup or Lee Cup or Milk Cup tie that Swindon Town have ever been involved with. And a great tribute to both sides that produced some cracking football over the uh, 300 and odd minutes of football so far played. Gittins with the challenge. Ross McLaren helps it on. Looking for the run of Steve White. Cow draw. Comes off Shearer. Throw to Bolton. Cornwall, header forward, looking for McLaughlin. McLaren, here's White. Swindon with the uh, sharp passing movements. And it finds Bowden, far side of the field. Bowden taking on Thompson and goes down under Thompson's challenge. Swindon have a free kick, left-hand side. Four minutes exactly, we still await the first goal of the game. It's Bowden and Fitzroy Simpson far side for Swindon Town. Looks as though Bowden will be the man to take it. Indeed it is. Bowden swings it in. Looking far post and up goes Felgate who takes it well. As Calderwood came in strongly. Felgate's kick clear then. And uh, Calderwood wins that in the air against uh, Mark Kane. The ball ends up now with Freighter Digby in that Swindon goal. Foley with a header. John Cornwall finds Goodhins and Goodhins had to hurry as Jeffrey came in very quickly indeed it's Goodhins once again here's McLaren in midfield long ball forward looking for the run of Steve White and out will come David Felgate before White can get on the end of it good ball forward from McLaren though looking to use the pace of Steve White but Felgate very good indeed came off very quickly off his line to save the situation for Bolton Wanderers Bowden Finds Foley, back to Bowden. Here's Simpson, into Foley. But it was a loose ball, and it's picked up by Thompson, who tries his luck from distance, and Digby, no problem. Calderwood's clearance, and... Uh, looking to find Fitzroy Simpson here is Simpson involved now and lays the ball back to Bowden Steve White is beaten in the air though by Comstiff and Swinon get a free kick edge of the box
or it's uh, the other way in fact Steve White was the judge to have been backing into the Bolton Wanderers defender and so it's the Wanderers who get this free kick be taken by keeper David Fellagate Good work by Bodin, finds Simpson, but that's a loose ball by Simpson, gets it back though. But uh, another loose ball from Fitzroy Simpson and could have got Swinning into problems, but the midfield closed down quickly and it's back with Digby. Bodin's header, Shearer back to Simpson. And Simpson's ball forward, caught White offside, Bolton have the free kick. Jeffrey and uh, Calderwood tussling over on the far side, it's with Bodin who finds Digby with a good piece of defensive work. Steve White's header, and uh, he was pushed in the back by Dean Crombie, so Swindon have a free kick in uh, what is the middle of the uh, Bolton Wanderers half. Ross McLaren can hit them from distance, but it's an awful long way out if he tries his luck with this one. McLaren and Bowden then over this ball. Have Simpson outside him, it's Bowden perhaps, he'll swing it in. Yes he does, looking uh, far post for the head of John Cornwall. Gets a header in and Gihins comes in quickly. This is uh, off the line from the Bolton defence as Swindon put on the pressure. And the free kick is to be given by referee Keith Cooper. And indeed, the name of Steve White is to be taken. Presumably for a challenge, which referee Cooper did not particularly like. However, it's Steve White who goes into the referee's notebook. Mark Wynn Stanley was the man who cleared the ball off the line. So Swindon coming close in the ninth minute of the game, but we're still scoreless. McLaughlin. White. Simpson back to White just a little bit tight over on the far side though and Phil Brown's able to slide in and put the ball into touch it's with Paul Bowden for the throw McLaughlin McLaughlin acknowledges the foul as Bolton Wanderers get the free kick as they all went tumbling down and it was McLaughlin who was the judge to have been the perpetrator of the deed so it's the Lancashire side who have the ball now through Phil Brown, lays it burn the bind. Here's Crombie, crossfield now to Mark Wynn Stanley. Giddens gets himself into some trouble here, there's a chance for Jeffrey to shoot and down goes Digby on the six yard line so a bit of slackness in that town defence John Giddens got himself into a little bit of a problem and Jeffrey very nearly made the most of it but uh, Digby was there to prevent the Lancashire side from going in front Steve White good ball back to Bowden here's White and uh, put out, so Bolton captain Phil Brown concedes the corner kick to Swindon and it's Alan McLaughlin who will make his way over to that flag to take this corner kick for the town and a long lecture from referee Cooper here to Steve White who's lost his boot in that particular exchange and referee Cooper tells him to leave the field of play to replace the boot Corner kick comes in, away. Ross McLaren. And uh, succeeds only in putting the ball into touch. That's a throw to Bolton Wanderers.
Giddens to Cornwall, who's uh, been impressive since replacing Dave Hockaday in the Swindon Town side. Hockaday is out with a fractured cheekbone, and Cornwall, who's come in, has done sterling work in that right back spot. Is with Foley though. Back to McLaren. Looking down the line for Cornwall, but uh, that's good work by Cowdrill, who's looked tremendous over the series of the four games between Swindon and Bolton. Alan McLaughlin for Swindon Town to Cornwall. And as Bolton through Win Stanley are able to get it away, helps it on to Jeffrey. And into touch, Swindon have the throw. Cornwall's throw then for Swindon finds Duncan Shearer. And that should be no problem for Cowdrill. He has Felgate in close attendance. Both sides lost their previous game to this one. Swindon went down 2-0 at Port Vale. Through two excellent goals from the uh, Potteris side. Nicky Cross. And from Darren Beckford. While Swindon were losing in the Potteries, it was uh, in the FA Cup for Bolton at Blackpool. They lost by two goals to one in a remake of the 1953 FA Cup final. That, of course, also went to Blackpool four goals to three. And who will ever forget the Matthews final? However, it's Bolton who have the throw on this left-hand side of the field to be taken by Comstiv. Cross coming in. And a header, but way off target, no problem for Fraser Digby. Oh, and that ball did not go out of the penalty area, so uh, Digby will have to take it again. Cornwall put her under a little bit of pressure by Comstiv and not able to return the ball to Digby before it went out of the box. So here is the goal kick for the second time of asking, and it's with McLaren in midfield. Control lets him down slightly as Bolton get possession through Comstiv. Giddens should get this one and uh, play safety first by putting the ball into touch. That for a throw to Bolton Wanderers to be taken by Comstiv, who seems to be involved quite heavily at the moment. Quarter of an hour gone, still no score. inside that town box and uh, Giddens has to get it away finds Bowden here's Steve White Bowden helps it down the line looking for the run of White but uh, across comes Phil Brown and the flag is up and Swindon have a free kick far side an awful long time ago the first game between the two sides McLaughlin Shearer and McLaren the men on target for Swindon in the 3-3 draw for Bolton Wanderers it was Gary Henshaw Tony Phyllis Cook and uh, the number four Paul Comstiv who scored with a beautiful bending shot from the corner of the box a 3-3 in that particular match what a cracker it was too the ball is inside that Bolton Wanderers area away by Julian Darby and Phil Brown will complete the clearance the second game up at Burnden Park, cracking shot from Phil Brown. Eight minutes remain the end of extra time. Duncan Shearer levelled it up a minute later. And then in the second replay between the sides, it was a Tony Phyllis Kirk penalty which put the Lancashire side ahead before Steve White levelled things up. That after Swindon had missed a penalty from Ross McLaren. And really over the three games so far, as it says on that scoreline there, nothing between the sides. Corner kick coming in. And uh, Brown didn't look ten yards on that particular uh, flag kick, but the referee gives the throw to Swindon, far side.
Ball breaking kindly for Swindon. She relays it back, and that took to the deflection, and that's wide. And so Swindon get a corner kick. The shot came in from McLaren after Shearer's layoff. So a chance for Swindon to put pressure on this Bolton Wanderers team. Although they've shown over the course of the three matches that they're not readily able to crack. It's Fitzroy Simpson then with the corner kick for Swindon. Away from the near post, and that'll be another one. Phil Brown saying that he was pushed on that particular situation, but the linesman quite adamant that it's a corner kick and not a free kick. Here's Steve Foley. Cornwall lay it off for McLaughlin, but not quite uh, the layoff that McLaughlin was looking for. And Bolton are able to get it away for a quick break. Here is Mike Jeffrey. Has two Swindon players with him, and perhaps the chance is now gone. Down he goes. And Bolton get the free kick after the foul by McLaren. Thompson there with this free kick for Bolton Wanderers into that town box and away by Calderwood and good honest challenging leads to a break for Swindon Town and Bowden well he couldn't take it from McLaughlin here's Simpson and his control lets him down and rather like the Bolton break just a few moments ago Swindon not able to make the most of the man over at the back Cross on the left-hand side by Simpson. White tussling away on the edge of the box, tries a shot on the turn, it's a deflecting up into the air and safely into the arms of David Falgate. Fraser Digby under no particular pressure to get this ball away. That's a long clearance from him. Gets good distance on it. Fitzroy Simpson and Brown far side. That's a throw to Bolton Wanderers. Cold away into Bowden. He seems to have a little bit of trouble with his boots at the moment. Can't quite uh, seem to get his control right, but it does well. Here's Calderwood from Giddens, and back to Digby. Colin Calderwood. It's a good long ball from him, looking for the run of Steve White, but great defensive play by Crombie finds Felgate, who in turn puts it deep into Swindon territory. Giddens with the challenge, finds McLaren. Off to uh, John Cornwall. There's Bowden, far side. Fitzroy Simpson with this throw then. But uh, he'll leave it to Paul Bowden, who's taken over from Phil King, who's recently left the club to go to Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, Cornwall, well, he stopped the ball before it went into touch, but enabled Win Stanley to get it away for Bolton, and uh, it goes into touch eventually. That'll be a throw to Swindon Town. Still no goals then as we approach the halfway mark in this first half in this Littlewoods Cup third round, third replay. Swindon Town versus Bolton Wanderers here at the county ground in Swindon. Calderwood with the free kick. Steve White beaten in the air by Wynn Stanley and Cowdrill clears before McLaughlin can make anything of that. It's with Thompson, good ball, far side of the field now. Hughes plays it forward. But, uh, Read well by Colin Calderwood, the town captain. 
finds McLaren. And that's a great ball forward looking for Steve White. Out comes Felgate. White beats him to it, but unfortunately only beats the byline and doesn't find the net. But great ball forward by Ross McLaren. Earns a round of applause from Steve White, the town number nine. Loves that sort of ball, Steve White. Got a good pace, able to get into those positions and get around the back of defences by running at them. And has scored numerous goals for Swindon over the years from that particular situation. Good strong header from Giddens. McLaughlin in midfield for Swindon Town. Plays the ball forward and it's a good ball too. White looked offside but here's Foley and Felgate just gets a hand to it. Here's uh, Danger 2 for Bolton in the shape of Fitzroy Simpson. And Swindon still on the attack. We'll discuss that incident in a moment. Here's John Cormor. Back for McLaren who will swing it in. And Swindon get the corner. The initial ball was played forward and it looked as though Steve White was in an offside position. But the referee allowed play to go on and it was Steve Foley who was denied by the save of David Felgate. And there is Steve Foley. Just back after injury. Looks a little disappointed that he didn't stick that in the net for his opening goal of the season. Simpson with the corner. Finds McLaughlin. Foley, far post, away by Bolton. And a slight deflection, but Felgate, no problem at the end of the day for the Bolton number one. Made a fine save from Ross McLaren's first half penalty in the second replay between the two sides. Down at a stage when Bolton won, were leading 1-0, and Steve White's equaliser was still to find its way into the back of the Bolton net. Clearance from Digby. An offside flag is up, I do believe, uh, for a free kick to Bolton Wanderers. And uh, some confusion here as to what exactly is going on. In fact, it's Swindon who've uh, got a free kick. We've got two match balls on the field. And it's a drop ball. So total confusion for a few moments and uh, the drop ball is taken. Here's Comstead for Bolton. The cow drop. Good strong challenge from John Cornwall, denies him. McLaughlin, though, couldn't take it. And a foul is given by referee Cooper and so it's Swindon who have the free kick in the 26th minute of the first half. Mark Wynn Stanley for Bolton. Overhead kick, gets it away. Here's Foley. Steve White's header on. Ross McLaren into that uh, Bolton Wanderers box. But the Lancashire side not eager to uh, concede, and it's with John Kiddins. Barry Cowdrill for Bolton. Cornwall sliding challenge once again. Good two challenges from him in the last few moments. Continuing his impressive form at right back. Here's Cow Drill. Gittins facing Jeffrey and putting the ball into touch. Comstiv is the man to come across. In fact, to take this for Bolton Wanderers, it's a throw. Cornwall's header. And a corner kick. And no, in fact, it's a goal kick, so must have come off Comstiv as the ball came down from John Cornwall. In the background there, you can see the Swindon Town club call number. You can get all the club news on there, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's 0898 12 16 40 for Swindon Town club call. All the news and views from the county ground in Swindon. Here's Steve White. Comstiv in the centre of the field. 
to Cowdrill. John Giddens plays the ball down the line and it's Duncan Shearer. So Dean Crombie read that one very well indeed and just planted the ball forward and puts John Cornwall under pressure. Cornwall sufficiently experienced enough to just let that run, run into touch for a goal kick to Swindon Town. Digby's clearance then. Got a good distance on it into that Bolton half. But, uh, it's the Wanderers who are picking things up in midfield. Although Swindon on this particular occasion come out on top. Foley with a little header forward. And it finds its way back with David Falgate in the Bolton Wanderers goal. McLaren, good ball forward from him, looking for the run of White, who's caught offside. There you are, the linesman, here's a flag up raised, and that's what caught Steve White in an offside position. It in. It's a nice piece of defensive work by him. Extra incentive, of course, for him to get through to the next round of the Littlewoods Cup. He joins Swindon Town from Southampton. So he would be extra keen to see the Saints come to the county ground for the match in the fourth round. As would Paul O'Driscoll, who is also on Swindon Town's playing staff. He joins Swindon from Southampton in the summer. So two former Saints players at Swindon Town would be delighted to see Southampton come to the county ground in Swindon. John Cornwall with the throw for Swindon. Foley's header forward, finds Steve White. McLaughlin not able to take that. As Bolton have possession far side in the shape of Brown. Calderwood's header. Here's Ross McLaren. Good ball forward, looking for the run of White. Here's McLaughlin who tries his luck with a shot, and that wasn't too far away. Good effort from Alan McLaughlin. Hit it first time. Nine goals so far this season from Alan McLaughlin, and that from a player who in his previous two seasons at Swindon, or two or three seasons, only got two goals. He's really uh, come good in this new campaign and has attracted the attention of the Republic of Ireland international manager Jack Charlton. The World Cup finals, of course, beckons for the Republic next summer. Paul Bowden, Shearer, a little layoff to White, trying to find Foley with a quick pass, but Bolton have possession. Comstiv, back to Cowdrill. Into the last 15 minutes of the first half, we're still scoreless. Fitzroy Simpson. And uh, Swindon's midfield, snapping tight here through Foley. Good ball, looking far side for Steve White, who's not offside. A chance to get the ball into the box, does so, and uh, it's not a good pass. McLaren has to hurry across, and indeed the ball goes into touch for the throw to Bolton Wanderers. John Cornwall with the throw for Swindon Town. McLaughlin back to Cornwall. And down goes Comstiv under the late challenge from Ross McLaren. A word from referee Cooper. Away by McLaren. 
McLaughlin tries to help it on to Shearer, but it's Cowdrill for Bolton Wanderers, who plays the ball down the left-hand side here. But Gittins is across. McLaren, uh, McLaughlin rather in midfield for Swindon. Nice turn from him and a good layoff. Good piece of play from Alan McLaughlin. Great piece of skill. And uh, well, the referee looks in some discomfort from that particular pass from Paul Bowden. And he doesn't look too happy, does he? I dare say it's a pretty cold night and uh, it may well have hit him in a pretty sensitive part. And he's <laughs> indeed reacted pretty sharply against Paul Bowden and uh, Bowden is the man who uh, drove that ball at the referee Cornwall's header, he's beaten in the air though and eventually finds Digby McLaren with the header, here's O'Glochlin down he goes, challenged by Thompson and out comes the referee's notebook First booking then for a Bolton Wanderers player, however Steve White was booked earlier on in the game, but Steve Thompson goes into the referee's notebook, that for pulling down Alan McLaughlin in that midfield position. Swindon have the free kick. It's Bowden who'll take it. Thompson for Bolton Wanderers and in goes Foley clattering in from behind referee says play on we shall see if he uh, deals with that particular situation the ball is played down the line and into touch for a throw to Swindon Town and the referee's whistle loud and shrill on this November night and indeed Steve Foley is to be cautioned for that foul on Steve Thompson So Thompson it was who was booked a few moments ago but uh, on this occasion it was Foley for the foul on Thompson. Ten minutes to the half-time whistle, no goals. John Giddens finds John Cornwall. Good strong run from the number two from Swindon. Alan McLaughlin, good ball, great layoff to Ross McLaren. Comstiv, good piece of work from him. Is uh, good in uh, Calderwood rather off now to Paul Bowden. Jeffrey beaten in the air on that occasion by Colin Calderwood. A throw to Bolton, far side, as a shin pad goes flying out from somebody's sock. Of course, from the season after this, you'll have to wear shin pads. As a matter of course, FIFA have laid down that rule. In a lot of ways, it's no bad thing. Felgate did good distance on that particular clearance. There's Colin Coldwood finds McLaughlin. A bit of space in which to have work here for Alan McLaughlin. And he's quickly closed down but does well. Foley for Swindon has McLaren outside him. And Foley with a little shot through the legs of Wynn Stanley. And Felgate had to go down sharply. A good piece of play by Steve Foley. Made himself the space for the shot and brought the save from Felgate. Cow draws header forward. <laughs> 
Foley to Bowden. Bowden, uh, Foley rather, gets it forward, looking for Shearer. He's faced by two, three Bolton defenders, and uh, weight of numbers eventually stifles out the town number eight. Hughes gets the ball into touch off a Swindon player, throw to Bolton far side. Last eight minutes of the first half. Still these two sides are remaining to be separated. This is the fourth game between the two in the Littlewoods Cup third round. And uh, very little between them over the course of those moments in uh, football, which amass at the end of this first half to 375 minutes. It's inside that town box, though, as Bolton look to get the opening goal before the half-time whistle. Here's uh, Colin Calderwood, who does well. Finds John Cornwall, but Comstiv is there with him. Cowdrill. King near post, away by Calderwood and into touch. Gets the ball away, and a chance for Shearer to run at that Bolton defence and find Simpson with a fine ball. Fitzroy Simpson has Steve White up ahead of him. And lays it off now, but uh, a touch overhit perhaps for White. Bowden once again. But the cross is easily dealt with by the Bolton defence, who are pretty tall at the back with Dean Crombie and Wynne Stanley. Calderwood comes across, but uh, can't deny Thompson. Derby. Phil Brown plays it far side for Hughes, as Bolton uh, played the ball around well in midfield. It's a chance for a shot from Phil Brown, who hits it from distance, but uh, was never on target, and he got further away from the target as the shot progressed. Ross McLaren to Calderwood. Great layoff from the chest of Shearer to McLaughlin. Here's Fitzroy Simpson, far side. Simpson skips past a good challenge and gets a good shot in, a good low cross. And Felgate had to go down smartly. I think it's a warm round of applause from the Bolton fans behind that Stratton Bank goal. Into the last five minutes of the first half, still no goals. Shearer into McLaren and a long ball forward but White who uh, looks totally and utterly astonished at that decision by the linesman that's the linesman with the red trim Mr DJ Gallagher but uh, nonetheless the decision is given against Steve White it's an offside flag and Bolton have the free kick far side in the last three minutes of the first half Derby gets the ball forward, looking for the run of uh, Jeffrey. Away by uh, John Cornwall. He finds Paul Bowden. Simpson does well, gets past uh, a good challenge there, but down he comes from Phil Brown. And uh, that surely must earn him a caution. It was a late challenge and designed to do exactly what it did do, bring down Fitzroy Simpson. Phil Brown takes the walk over to the referee, Keith Cooper, to find himself in that notebook. Fourth booking of the game. Two from either side, Steve Foley and Steve White from Swindon. 
Bill Brown and Steve Thompson from Bolton Wanderers. Free kick then to be taken by Paul Bowden. Ross McLaren. And down goes uh, the number 11 of Bolton under the challenge of Ross McLaren. That was Julian Darby. Thompson and Barry Cowdraw here then for the Lancashire side. Let's see what they can conjure up from this particular situation. Thompson plays it far side for Hughes. Hughes into that Swindon town box. A good header coming in from Jeffrey, And straight at Fraser Digby in that town goal. Good opportunity for Bolton. And that would have been a good time for them to take the lead. For Troy Simpson. Shearer. Little layoff for McLaren. And it's a great ball. Off to John Cornwall on this right-hand side. Header from White. No problem for Fellgate. Good move from Swindon. John Giddens. Last minute of the first half, still no goals. Ross McLaren finds Alan McLaughlin. Here's Cornwall. Ross McLaren can sweep a ball far side and does so. It's a good one. Two to White, who lays it off. Here's Ross McLaren. Steve White, the uh, bottom defender, when Stanley slipped, giving White uh, that precious second to see if he can control it. Here's Ross McLaren again. In for McLaughlin, a chance perhaps to snatch something as we go towards the half-time whistle. But the shot without power and easily taken by Felgate in the Bolton goal. Jeffrey then for Bolton Wanderers. Good sliding challenge from John Giddens, and he'll find Digby with that back pass, completing good defensive work by the town number six. So well into injury time at the end of this first half. Not the classic that we've seen in the previous two games as referee Cooper brings proceedings to a court in this first 45 minutes not the real classic that we've seen in the previous three matches but plenty of nip and tuck football between the two sides nothing uh, asked or given of either side as we go in at the half-time whistle you still can't separate them 375 minutes of football and neither side have the supremacy to take a lead in at half-time Swindon Town nil Bolt Wanderers nil Welcome back as we prepare for the start of the second half of this match between Swindon Town and Bolton Wanderers in the Woods Cup third round, third replay. Still no score between the two sides. As we prepare for the start of the second half, it's Swindon Town who will kick off, attacking the goal on our left. The Town, of course, in their red shirts, white shorts, red socks. Bolton Wanderers in the white shirts, navy blue shorts and white socks. Referee Cooper gets this underway as we start the second half. Here's Paul Bowden for Swindon, and the town will be keen to get a goal and uh, try and see off this Lancashire side as quickly as possible. 
certainly proved stubborn opposition so far tonight, as they have done, of course, in the previous three meetings. Bolin gets the ball forward, looking for the run of Steve White. Mistake in that Bolin defence. Here is Paul Bolin. Good ball from him. Far side of the field finds Cornwall. Cornwall tries a long-range effort, but straight at uh, Win Stanley. Steve White, back to Fraser Digby. And down goes White, under the attention of Comstiv. But, uh, no problem at all. John Cornwall. John Giddens. John Cornwall then for Swindon Town, far side of the field. Barry Cowdraw. Kevin Morris, uh, the Swindon physiotherapist, he's lighting his pipe in the Swindon dugout there. No doubt having a soothing uh, pipe full of tobacco to get him through this uh, 90 minutes. And who knows, we may go into extra time. Ooh, strong challenge from the back by John Gittins, and indeed a referee Keith Cooper says that's a foul, so Bolton have a free kick. There's a quick word with Gittins, and we're all ready to continue. Cow draw with the free kick. Steve Thompson and McLaren away by the swing in defence, looking for the run of Steve White. White takes it on his chest and uh, escapes his man as well does Steve White. A great run from him. Looks to get the shot in too from Felgate, who's perfectly positioned. But a great run from Steve White. There he is with the headband, eight stitches in the head wound, but uh, having a fine game. John Gittins header. Cornwall. Alan McLaughlin lays it off to Paul Bowden. McLaren onto Foley, back to McLaren. Nice interchange between the two. Looking for Shearer, and it was a good ball too from McLaren. Shearer just couldn't quite take it. But the pass got behind the back of the Bolton Wanderers defence. John Cornwall, far side. Down goes McLaughlin. Cow draw. Header on by Mark came and uh, Giddens comes across for Swindon and uh, plays no mistake there and puts the ball away. Hughes helps it on to Thompson. Good tackling by Anna McLaughlin in midfield for Swindon. Phil Brown to Hughes back to Phil Brown Simpson in there quickly for Swindon though here's Steve White has Shearer ahead of him here's McLaren good ball from him into space for Fitzroy Simpson to run on to chance perhaps to attack this Bolton Wanderers defence taking on Thompson good low cross and uh, it was Win Stanley who put the ball behind Fitzroy Simpson off to Ross McLaren. Try a shot. Curler too. And Felgate. Barry Cowdrill.
Down goes Comstev under the challenge of Ross McLaren. Free kick to Bolton Wanderers. Cowdrill and Thompson at this particular free kick for the Wanderers. Hopefully to float it in from the left-hand side, they do so. Up goes Bodin, good strong header from him. Hughes though, bustling into that town penalty area, He'll get a corner. Comstiv's corner kick, looking far post, away by Giddens, comes to Shearer. Holton, though, get the ball forward again, it's another long one, and Comstiv, he's in an offside position, having not quite retreated quickly enough from taking the corner kick. 11,238, there you are, the official attendance for tonight's match, and that's a good crowd to watch this fourth meeting between the two teams. John Giddens. Colin Calderwood. Fitzroy Simpson's header forward. Foley's in an offside position. Steve Foley, header forward, looking for Duncan Shearer, but uh, Barry Cowdrill tidies up very well indeed at the back for Bolton Wanderers, and uh, there's David Felgate under no pressure whatsoever. Formerly with Lincoln City, among others. Barry, F uh, David Felgate, he's had a good career in league football, and he's a ver very impressive goalkeeper indeed. Fitzroy Simpson in midfield for Swindon, vice McLaren. Here's Alan McLaughlin running forward strongly from midfield. McLaren, good ball, far side into space, but uh, a bit too strong perhaps for John Cornwall and uh, never really had a realistic chance of getting there. This uh, one of the Swindon substitutes, Tony Galvin, warming up. Foley's had a forward. With McLaughlin. Tries to get the cross in, but Candrell blocks. Jeffrey, but uh, Calderwood came in strongly there, and Giddens, well, a little pressure here from Mark Kane, but he finds a Fraser Digby in that town goal. Long clearance, Stira takes it on his chest, it's with Foley, square ball for McLaren. Straight at the Bolton defence. John Giddens gets himself into a little bit of trouble there, and there's a chance for Bolton to come away. Mark Kane plays the ball far side, and the offside flag is up against Steve Thompson. Paul Bowden for Swindon Town. Bowden gets in a good challenge from him, denied uh, Hughes. Win Stanley. Loose piece of defensive play, very nearly let Shearer in. And he acknowledges a ticking off from one of his colleagues. 
Could have sold Bolton into trouble there on that particular occasion. But luckily for him, the ball ends up with David Falgate in that Bolton Wanderers goal. Bowden with the header. Way right by Phil Brown. Giddens on to Foley. The run of Shearer is denied by Wynn Stanley. Here's Cowdrill. Hughes, good tackle by Bowden once again. White, great ball back to Fitzroy Simpson. Simpson looking and uh, getting to well, it's, uh, Bowden. A good low cross coming in, and it's uh, put behind by Barry Cowdrill. Gets a round of applause from Felgate. Good piece of defensive work by the former West Bromwich Albion fullback. Cowdrill didn't know what was behind him and just played the ball behind for the corner kick. Fitzroy Simpson's corner for Swindon Town then. 12th minute of the second half. Here's Alan McLaughlin going across to him. Easily dealt with by the Bolton defence. Ross McLaren on to McLaughlin. Great piece of play and gets another corner from Cowdrill's challenge. Swindon now with the best of the opening uh, first 12 minutes of this second half, putting Bolton under some pressure. Here's Fitzroy Simpson. Cornwall goes up, gets the header arm, and a chance for a shot from Steve White, and the ball drifting harmlessly wide of the Bolton goal. Felgate then with this goal kick for Bolton. Holderwood, good strong header. Here's John Cornwall. Long ball for Alan McLaughlin. Down the line, looking for the run of Foley and finds him. Good ball from McLaughlin. Foley trying to get past Cowdrill and he'll get another corner. Cowdrill defending very well indeed over on that corner of the field. Third corner in quick succession for Swindon, taken by Fitzroy Simpson. Flicked on at the near post by Ella McLaughlin. Steve White is up, and that's the opening goal of the game. Steve White's ninth goal of the season in the 14th minute of the second half. Fitzroy Simpson's corner headed on at the near post by Alan McLaughlin and there was Steve White all alone at the far post to find the back of the net. Swindon Town then go in front against Bolton Wanderers. Swindon Town won, Bolton Wanderers nil. Ninth goal of the season for Steve White and it puts the Wiltshire side on top. So let's see what Bolton Wanderers can do from this. So often during the course of this tie, it's been Bolton who have been in front. Swindon have always managed to come back. Let's see if Bolton can do the same. Goodins, good header from him, away by Foley. Barry Cowdrill. Into touch, that'll be a throw far side of the field to Swindon then, who are in the lead, a quarter of an hour of the second half gone. And uh, they must be mighty pleased to see that ball go in the back of the net from Steve White. Neither side have really created too many dangerous openings, and on that particular occasion at the far post, Steve White, unchallenged. Put the ball past the Bolton defence. 1 0 Swindon. Here's Bowden. Bolton through Cowdrill. Want to come forward, but Cowdrill's control on that particular occasion somewhat suspect. I guess what Swindon have to do now is to maintain their very tight at the back and perhaps look for a second goal to see off this Lancashire side.
Long clearance from Digby. Putting the Bolton defence under pressure, here's Steve White. And he'll get the corner. Fitzroy Simpson. Good cross and out comes Felgate. Giddens will have to stretch and does so. Does very well indeed, does the town number six to get that ball back to Fraser Digby in the town goal. It was uh, under pressure. Here's Paul Bowden. Oh, and a loose ball from Bowden. A chance for the uh, Bolton defence to come forward and down under the challenge of Steve Foley goes Thompson. Free kick to Bolton Wanderers. by Giddens, Shearer, very casual then, far side of the field, and a good attacking play from him on the left-hand side, and away by Bowden, behind for the corner kick to Bolton, so Bolton certainly not giving this up by any means, and uh, their fans feel that they can get back into the match. Simpson's header away, good piece of defensive play from a player normally associated in an attacking mode. It's uh, when Stanley gets the ball forward into the town box and it's uh, a goal kick to Swindon Town. 1-0 Swindon in front, Steve White in the ninth minute. In his ninth goal of the season, I beg your pardon, in the 59th minute. Holderwood's header. Foley and Simpson combining to get this ball away. Off the back of McLaren to uh, Cornwall, far side. Here's Steve White. Back to Cornwall. There goes Ross McLaren, and uh, Swindon will get a free kick. Will they, or will the referee play on? Indeed he does. He plays on. Swindon have the ball, he says, so uh, let's get on with the game, and uh, nice to see. That's a long clearance from Fraser Digby into the bottom wanderers' penalty area. Win Stanley. Or let it run, but uh, his control perhaps has let him down, although it was a push by Shearer on Win Stanley. <laughs> Steve White. Gittins. Digby. Long clearance from Fraser Digby, up will go Falgate. And uh, no pressure on him from the town strike force, who on that occasion was Duncan Shearer. Calderwood, good header from him, denies Kane. But here's Fitzroy Simpson in the midfield for Swindon to McLaren off the feet of Simpson, and this could prove costly as Bolton come forward. And uh, Swindon somewhat slack on that particular occasion, and Bolton get a corner. Steve Thompson will take this flag kick for Bolton Wanderers. 
into the town box and Simpson misses that header as a shot from Brown it's a deflection and a good save from Fraser Digby down at the near post Phil Brown's shot was deflected and Digby had to be at his very best to prevent that from finding the net corner kick coming in then into that Swindon Town area and Digby once again proves superior Eyes of England's number one come up from the Swindon crowd. And who knows, very shortly that may well be the case. Cow drill. Shearer back to Ross McLaren. Into Simpson, takes it down very well indeed, but he can't uh, quite find the space for the shot. Here's Bowden. Fitzroy Simpson does well but uh, weight of numbers eventually denies him but it's with Bowden once again Claren John Cornwall crosses in and straight through to Felgate coming up to the halfway stage in this second half Swindon Town 1 Bolton Wanderers nil. Steve White ninth goal of the season Charles for Bolton to break then in the shape of Mark Kane, but a great challenge by John Cornwall. Denies the Bolton number nine. Tremendous piece of defensive play by John Cornwall, the town number two, who's really looked impressive in the last few games. Simpson, well, <laughs> if it had come off, it would have been truly spectacular, wouldn't it? But... Uh, Look pretty awful, really. Here's a chance for Jeffrey, but a good challenge by Giddens denies him. So that's a throw to Bolton Wanderers, far side, taken by Cowdrill. Comstiv, back to Cowdrill. Thompson, Cowdrill, chance for the cross. Gets it into that town box, he's mistaken the Swindon Town defence here. And it's Mark Kame who forces home the equaliser. John Giddens, Colin Coldwood and Fraser Digby get themselves into somewhat of a tiz and the Bolton strike force of Mark Kame says thank you very much indeed I'll knock home the equaliser Swindon Town 1, Bolton Wanderers 1 24th minute second half and Swindon have to start all over again Manager Ossie Ardiles of Swindon Town looks none too impressed by that, asking his team to uh, lift it. And uh, the referee has the word with the Bolton bench. So we're back to all square. Pretty predictable, I guess you could say, this particular match. And who knows, we may be in for yet another bout of extra time. Still can't be separated, these two sides. Felgate's clearance over the halfway line. Up goes Colin Coldwood. He's beaten in the air though. And Bowden puts the ball over the halfway line for Shearer to find McLaughlin. As Cornwall outside him has to turn back into trouble. Does the town number four do does very well indeed though McLaughlin? It's Shearer looking far side for Cornwall, but too much pace on that particular ball. And it's the Bolt Wanderers fans who have uh, more to shout about at the moment. 1-1. One, one. Cow draw with a free kick for Bolton Wanderers. Way by Cornwall. 
Oh, it's a chance then for Jeffrey to put pressure on the 10 defence. It's Calderwood, a fine piece of defence by him, although the back pass was none too hot, and Digby was being pressurised by Hughes and eventually gets the ball. But a uh, little bit of uh, problem for the 10 defence on that particular occasion, although Swindon will break quickly through Steve Foley. And that's a good ball for Steve White. But uh, he looked offside, and indeed he was. Although the referee will wave play on on this occasion. 27th minute of the second half, we stand at 1-1. Gittins with the header, here's Hughes. Bowden, and back to Digby. Swindon and under pressure once again. Here's Calderwood, faced by Jeffrey. Jeffrey, a judge to a foul. Calderwood, Swindon get the free kick. All town games are covered by BBC Wiltshire Sound, giving you a comprehensive roundup of the town affairs and sport throughout the county of Wiltshire. BBC Wiltshire Sound, the very best in local sport. It's a throw by Phil Brown. Calderwood's header away, completed by Bowden. And here's a chance for Julian Darby, and that's a great effort from him. And Fraser Digby has to palm it round the corner at the near post. And Bolton do get forward very strongly indeed. And that's twice at the near post. Fraser Digby has had to make good saves. Indeed, he did so at Burnden Park in the third meeting between the two sides. Ready to go after what looked like some treatment for uh, Coldwell, but everybody's OK. It's uh, at the far post. And Bolton would dearly love to sneak a goal here. But so, of course, it would Swindon Town. Here's Barry Cowdrill. Finds Phil Brown. Alan McLaughlin cuts that one out. It was a rather lazy ball away by Brown. But McLaughlin ran out of space, really, and it's Comstead with a throw for Bolton. Long clearance from Felgate. Gets good distance on his clearances. Calderwood. Finds McLaughlin, centre circle, and uh, is Cornwall in space for Swindon, far side. Looking for the uh, long crossfield probing ball, but it was a bit too probing even for Paul Bowden. He couldn't get uh, onto that and cause problem for Bolton. So it is a throw to the Wanderers to be taken by Phil Brown. Felgate's clearance. Cornwall and back to Digby. Here's Fitzroy Simpson. And back to uh, keeper, David Felgate. Gittins, good strong header, finds McLaren. Duncan Shearer is beaten in the air, here's Alan McLaughlin. 
Foley. And Julian Darby, it's Foley for Swindon. He finds Steve White. Alan McLaughlin is up ahead of him, hits with Ross McLaren. Off to Cornwall, far side in the last 15 minutes of normal time. Swindon Town 1, Bolton Wanderers 1. And uh, Gittins coming in very strongly from the back. He's going to get a talking to from the referee. And in fact, it's more than a talking to, it's a booking. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Slight period of amusement as uh, Gittins says, oh, I didn't really headbutt you referee, it was just a mistake. It's a uh, booking now for John Gittins. Swindon's third of the night along with Steve Foley and Steve White. Two from Bolton have also been cautioned, Phil Brown and Steve Thompson. Swindon was something like nine bookings in the last three games. After a period of relative inactivity with the referee's notebook, nine cautions in three matches. Here's Fitzroy Simpson. Gittins, long legs come out there and finds Digby. Ross McLaren. Here's Hughes. Cornwall. Shearer. In for Steve Foley. And that's a good ball to Fitzroy Simpson. No offside flag here. As he can put the Bolton defence under pressure. Finds McLaren. Chance to shoot perhaps. Does so. And that's a good one. And uh, just a fraction too high. There we are. Swindon Town 1. Bolton 1. And uh, as always in these long matches between the two sides, Cramp is beginning to take apart. And indeed, Bolton are going to make a substitution. It's the manager, Phil Neal, who's going to take the field of play for his first appearance of the season. The former Liverpool and England fullback, and done a splendid job at Burnham Park and has built a really good side. Hughes who's going to limp off to be replaced by Phil Neal and he looks in some discomfort done his part though in the Bolton uh, performance tonight and Phil Neal well he's uh, doing something straight out of the Jane Fonda workout book isn't he Phil Neal. And, uh, <laughs> and that name, of course, is a famous one in football, and it gets quite a reaction. Phil Neal, who uh, was interviewed for the Swindon Town manager's job in the summer. Brown down the line for the run of Thompson but it goes back from Calderwood to Fraser Digby last 10 minutes of normal time still 1-1 so extra time is beckoning once again Thompson to Cowdrill far side Giddens will allow that ball to run and they'll go into touch for a throw to Swindon Town taken by John Cornwall
Cornwall, great ball forward for the run of Steve White, and he's onside, chased by Win Stanley. Great challenge by Win Stanley, although the referee adjudges him to a fouled Steve White. And Phil Neal is none too pleased with that decision. I thought it was a good challenge too. The ball was taken cleanly away from Steve White by Win Stanley, but referee Cooper says that is a free kick and it will be taken by Ross McLaren. Into the box, looking far post, away by the Bolton defence. Alan McLaughlin against Phil Neal. McLaughlin! But, uh, straight through to Felgate. Nine minutes remaining in normal time. So, if uh, we get through to the 90 minutes without uh, another goal, it'll be 410 minutes between these two sides, and you still can't separate them. Quite extraordinary game of football this has been. White doing very well indeed against Cowdrill, and falls over Foley, I do believe. And uh, the sliced clearance, though, by the Bolton defence gives Swindon Town a throw in. Into touch by Phil Neal. Paul Bowden with the throw for Swindon. Here is Phil Neal, and into touch, and a throw to Swindon Town as uh, so they uh, look to get forward in the last seven minutes of the match. Phil Neal with the header. Great challenge by Steve Foley. Really sharp and incisive tackle. Here's Win Stanley for Bolton Wanderers. Cowdrill. Good ball forward too. Looking for Julian Darby. And Calderwood. Well, his back pass had to be good and accurate, and it was. Simpson. Faces Phil Neal. Here's Bowden. Layoff by Shearer for McLaughlin, who finds Cornwall. Swindon looking to get a last gasp winner here. Cornwall's ball coming in, and that's deflected for a corner kick. So Bolton look pretty desperate, don't they? Not to concede in the last few minutes of normal time. We're just five minutes away from extra time once again. Here's Fitzroy Simpson for Swindon Town. Goes Felgate, gets the punch onto it, Calderwood's header, and away by Crombie. Here is Shearer, if he can reach it, he'll allow it to go out, swing and have the throw. Paul Bowden is the man to take this throw for Swindon Town. Here he is again, great piece of play, and ball coming to the far post, away by uh, the number six, Mark Win Stanley. And Swindon in this last five minutes pressurised the Bolton Wanderers' goal. Simpson's corner. And headed backwards by Comstiv, who rather gets in Felgate's way. And Swindon force yet another corner kick. This time off Steve Thompson. The Bolton defence in a little bit of trouble here. Three and a half minutes to go until the end of 90 minutes. Simpson. 
Cornwall's header at the near post, away by the bottom defence once again, only as far as McLaren. Phil Neal gets a, a very timely intervention on that one, it's Paul Bowden. And Foley with a shot, and uh, bending away from the Bolton Wanderers goal. Bowden's throw for Swindon. Here's Fitzroy Simpson. Simpson takes it on his chest and gets past that great challenge there and uh, looks to square it for Foley. Has Cornwall outside him, but Bolton battling for all they're worth back there. And here's the chance for them to break and put pressure on the Swindon Town defence, but Giddens, superb challenge. We're in the last three minutes of normal time. And uh, the Swindon Town bench sharing a few anxious moments as the minutes tick by. 1-1. One, one. Extra time looms large now. Thompson. It's cut out easily by Alan McLaughlin. And he finds White. Into Shearer. Here's Bowden coming forward strongly then for Swindon Town. A good ball off to Fitzroy Simpson. A chance for him to uh, maybe make a name for himself now. Infield for Foley. Cornwall far side. It's a good cross here. Look at the white and uh, wide of the post. And Steve White, who's run himself ragged tonight, could well have claimed his second goal of the game on that particular occasion. Last two minutes. something quite extraordinary happens now I think we're in for another 30 minutes of extra time Town manager Ozzy Ardiles in his accustomed standing position Long clearance from Fraser Digby. And away by the bottom defence, Phil Brown. It's with Paul Bowden. Steve Foley. And trying to get the ball through for Duncan Shearer. But that was no problem for the Bolton defence. In the last minute of normal time then. With Paul Bowden. Coldwood's header away for Swindon. Phil Neal tries to help it down the line. Good piece of skill there. Evades Paul Bowden. And offside position is Mike Jeffrey. So there we are. We are into extra time once again between these two sides. This is the third occasion this has happened in his fourth match in the Littlewoods Cup third round. Swindon Town won, but Wanderers won. Swindon going in front through Steve White with his ninth goal of the season, but Bolton weren't to be denied. And there was Mark Kane popping up to make the most of uh, defensive slackness by Swindon Town to force the ball over the line and force us into an extra 30 minutes. Swindon Town won, Bolton Wanderers won. So there we are, the Swindon Town players getting their orders from town manager Ozzy Ardiles and assistant Chick Bates. They already know how difficult their job has been so far, and the Bolton camp likewise giving them an instruction. Phil Neal, of course, is now taking part in the match.
That's how we stand. Swindon Town 1, Bolton 1. As the captains do this oh-so-familiar thing, they toss for choice of ends. We've seen this now on three occasions. Extra time. And I must know the, uh, the role pretty well indeed. As we're all set then for the start of this extra 30 minutes, the referee counting the players to make sure how many of either side are on the field, making sure there are 11. Looks at his linesman, checks that they're OK. And off we go again. So, 420 minutes of football has failed to separate them. Let's see what an extra 30 can do. John Cornwall. Paul Bowden. Long ball forward. Looking for Duncan Shearer. Can't take that one. As when Stanley plays it away from Bolton. And there's no doubt a lot of tired legs out there now. John Cornwall. Chance for Simpson to do well, but uh, Bolton get it away. Calderwood with the header. Paul Bowden helps it on. with the goal kick and uh, up goes Paul Bowden beats Cowdrill but Cowdrill comes back for more and plays the ball down the line as Bolton look to get forward in the shape of Thompson but uh, Bowden will be across quickly for Swindon Town throw to the Lancashire side as they have the early pressure here we're in the second minute of extra time still 1-1 Phil Neal Ooh, that is a mistake in that town defence for a moment. Looked as though there was a chance for Bolton to make the most of that. Here's uh, Alan McLaughlin. Finds McLaren. Fitzroy Simpson. Uh, can't escape the challenge there of Phil Brown. The ball into touch, throw to Swindon Town. Ross McLaren. Steve White. Back for Foley, but uh, he elects instead to find John Cornwall, far side of the field. Back to John Gittins. Way by Brown. Foley's gone up there very well indeed. Got uh, plenty of height on that jump. The Bolton defence get it away. Foley once again. Thompson. Cow drill. McLaren's header. John Cornwall. Looking for the run here of Foley. In fact, it was McLaughlin rather. And uh, Barry Cowdrill in the Bolton defence enabled David Felgate to come out and push the ball clear. John Cornwall with the throw for Swindon Town. Alan McLaughlin to Cornwall McLaughlin once again Foley Cornwall has Foley with him and McLaughlin in close attendance Cornwall does well get to the byline pulls back a nice little cross but Felgate is down quickly before Steve White can uh, capitalise on that here's Cornwall once again finds McLaughlin Comstiv brings down McLaughlin, the referee says no. And so it's back with Felgate. <laughs> 
throw to Bolton Wanderers. Chance for the third division side to uh, get into this extra time. They've not really put pressure on the town defence yet. We're in the fifth minute, still 1-1. One, one. And it's Phil Neal who will take this throw in for Bolton Wanderers. Calderwood, only as far as Phil Neal. Stanley's cross, it's a good one too, it puts Digby under pressure, but he takes it cleanly, no problem, and here's Foley, and a late challenge on Foley, and he looks in some discomfort, but Cornwall carries on, so Swindon are able to carry on, but they lose possession, it's now with Cowdrill far side. Ross McLaren, off to Cornwall. And that's a good ball for Steve White to come forward, but out comes Felgate quickly and puts the ball into the north stand to deny the rampaging Steve White. Already on target, of course, once tonight. 1-1 one, one we stand. And Phil Neal is uh, getting a little bit of a lecture here from Keith Cooper. McLaughlin over the head, looking for White. Plays it far side now for Alan McLaughlin. Played by Neil. Here's Comstiv. Cowdrill. Gittins. Paul Bowden and just back to Fraser Digby. As the tension, I suppose, has reached both sets of players out there in this uh, last 30 minutes. I know that one mistake could prove so costly tonight and uh, bring to an end this marathon match, which has kept us all so vastly entertained. It's with Colin Calderwood. Looking for the run of McLaughlin and Cowdrill. It's across there for Bolton Wanderers. McLaughlin back to Foley. Shearer and uh, away by the Bolton defence. Paul Bowden. Now for Calderwood. Oh, and uh, here's McLaughlin, a mistake in that Bolton defence. Fitzroy Simpson's uh, intended cross for Cornwall, well cut out by Barry Cowdrill. And in truth, it was a poor ball by Simpson. Gittins puts his head down, or Calderwood rather, gets his head in there. And it will go back to Fraser Digby in the town goal. Thompson, far side for Cowdrill. And here's a chance for White to put pressure on Falgate but the Bolton keeper has no difficulty in taking that particular long clearance. Good strong header from Calderwood. Simpson back to Bowden and a long ball forward. That's no problem for the Bolton defence. Gittins to Cornwall for McLaren. Cowdrill. 
Here's Phil Brown. Forward from Phil Neal. Fitzroy Simpson, a chance for him to run. And down he goes under the challenge of Phil Neal. Into the last five minutes of the first period of extra time, Bolton going to make another substitution here. And it's Mark Kane, the goal scorer, going off. And it's Ian Stevens who will replace him. And Swindon Town, too, are going to make a couple of substitutions in a moment. Ross McLaren, nice piece of play from him. It's Colin Calderwood. Foley. It's McLaren. And Shearer with Crombie. And Shearer does well, gets a dangerous ball back. That was a great chance for White. Two great chances for White. The first, well, he made a hash of the second. A great save by Felgate. Steve White, who's had a tremendous game tonight, could have uh, perhaps wrapped it up on that particular occasion. Great piece of play over on the fast, on the near side rather, by Duncan Shearer. Could well have presented the second goal for Steve White. But it's still 1-1, and we're in the last two and a half minutes of the first period of extra time. Here's John Cornwall. Great layoff by White to Foley. Down goes Foley from Crombie's challenge. Here's Simpson as Swindon put the pressure on now. Simpson, great piece of play. And a diving header. Over his own bar by Crombie, concedes the corner. Colin Calderwood. Here's Comstiff. Foley, great challenge from Steve Foley. But Bolton uh, able to get the ball away, a long ball out of defence. Calderwood. Looking for the run of White, who will run for everything tonight. He's uh, had a tremendous game, Steve White. Last two minutes of uh, the first period of extra time, still 1-1. McLaren off to Bowden. And Steve White with Dean Crombie. White uh, doing very well indeed, battling now with Phil Brown. Phil Neal, rather loose clearance from him, but it's away by the Bolton defence. Giddens getting in there first for Swindon, and it's with John Cornwall, far side. Here's Shearer. Uh, Simpson inside him and Foley and Phil Neal and Crombie rather gets that ball away. Calderwood. Here's McLaren. Barry Cowdrill. And back to Fraser Dickman. It's 
So any moment now, the first period of extra time should come to a conclusion. And we still stand at 1-1. Phil Neal. Foley battling away in midfield. Thompson. Cowdrill. Good piece of play by Comstev, who's an impressive player. Gets past on Cormor, takes on Giddens, a low cross into that box, and dig beat. Well, had to go down, and that is the end of the first period of extra time. And it's still Swindon Town 1, Bolton Wanderers 1. The town are going to make a substitution. It's going to be Tony Galvin to come off, to come on rather, and it's John Cormor coming on. Off. <laughs> we'll get it right in a moment. Tony Galvin is to take the place of John Cormor in the Swindon Town lineup. Cormor gets a pat of appreciation there from manager Ozzy Ardiles, an attacking switch, I dare say. Four hundred and thirty-five minutes then, and we still have failed to separate these two sides. And away we go again for the final fifteen in this fourth meeting. Bodin's header off to McLaren. And all the way back to Fraser Digby. Shall we see a conclusion then in tonight's episode? Or shall we go for another one at Bolton in seven days' time? We shall see as Galvin gets the ball down the line looking for the run of Shearer. Cow drill. <laughs> Colin Coldwood to take the free kick for Swindon. Off to Giddens, on to Coldwood. Foley. And Phil Brown, while tied, I think rather let him down there. He went to get the ball and played into space, but it had just too much pace for him. And Swindon have the throw. Far side of the field to be taken by Paul Bowden. Here's Fitzroy Simpson. Good ball coming in for the far side and uh, mistaking that Bolton defence and it's trickling just wide of a post. And he looked for a moment as though that ball was going to find its way into the back of the net, but instead it just evades the Bolton upright and goes for the corner. Fitzroy Simpson with his flag kick for Swindon Town. Near post, flicked on by McLaughlin, away by the Bolton defence. Thompson gets it away, only as far as Foley. Here's Jeffrey, far side. Thompson. Digby's clearance uh, just over the halfway line. Gittins gets in with a good strong challenge. Calderwood. Off to Galvin. Galvin, a chance perhaps to run at this Bolton defence. Lays it off to Foley. Here's Calderwood. McLaren, good ball to Fitzroy Simpson. Bowden. To McLaren once again. Steve White, chance to turn at this Bolton defence, but he'll need men in support. Gets a good cross in though to Steve White, away by Phil Neal. As Calderwood comes sliding in against Jeffrey, and he's a judge to have fouled him.
Neal. The run of Jeffrey, but Giddens is there first for Swindon. Jeffrey does very well indeed. Low cross coming in, away by the town defence, but uh, Bolton still coming forward and looking for the goal, but Digby quite content to see that ball go by his post. Into the fifth minute of the second period of extra time, still 1-1. Odin. Steve White. Great play by Foley. Superb play by Foley. He's brought down and a free kick to Swindon. Challenged by uh, Derby on Foley. Is Galvin a chance uh, perhaps to use his pace on the wing? Good cross, looking far post. It's a great cross too. Put the Bolton defence under pressure. Here's Giddens. Okay, uh, Neil rather takes it on his chest. Down he goes. This time it's a foul by Foley, and he acknowledges the fact. Galvin. Calderwood, great piece of play by him. He does very well indeed, finds himself space to play the ball forward as White lays it off towards Shearer, but the Bolton defence clear. Here's Giddens. Coldwood's header. Stevens denies McLaren. Here's Derby. Looking for Phil Neal. And into space, a good ball. And a spot can come forward. It's uh, with Jeffrey. Away by Giddens. And a shot coming in. Deflection off Giddens. Galvin's clearance. McLaughlin not able to get on there. It's Comstiv. It's into Cadrill. Back to Comstiv. Comstiv, well, <laughs> neither shot nor cross, was it really? And we're nine minutes away from yet another replay. Ross McLaren. Gittins plays far side for Bowden. Calderwood. Foley fouled Thompson, free kick to Bolton. Uh, no danger there for Fraser Digby from Comstiv's header. <laughs> Bill Neal back to uh, Felgate in the bottom goal, and we're just seven minutes away then from the end of the game. And I suppose those Bolton fans there must be hoping their side hold out in the remaining few minutes 
And then we all have to troop back up to Lancashire for yet another replay between the sides. Fifth game that would be if it came about. And it's already, I believe, the longest running Littlewoods Cup tie. Calderwood's header. Foley. Here's Galvin. Can he use his pace this time? Has space in which to operate. He'll take on Cowdrill. Good turn from Alan McLaughlin straight across the face of that bolt. Wanderer's goal. Fitzroy Simpson. A little bit of trickery from him. It's deflected up. And really, Felgate could have done nothing about that one. It's a corner kick to Swindon. Five minutes remaining. Simpson. McLaughlin's cross. Up goes Felgate. Ross McLaren, long ball forward, looking for the runner White, and the bottom defence seemingly able to cope with it on this occasion, and it's back with Felgate. So the minutes are ticking away for Swindon Town if they're going to do anything in this one, and Felgate is none too uh, hurried in getting this particular clearance away. And uh, that really was a tired shot, wasn't it? From uh, Mike Jeffrey. Bowden. Bowden once again for Swindon. Lays it back to uh, John Giddens. Here's Galvin. McLaughlin, control lets him down, Cowdrill gets it away. Gittins is in, McLaren. Here's Foley, far side is Bowden. Bowden's cross, up in the air, Felgate. Punches away, comes to McLaren who hits it through a kind of players and he's found a net. That could well be the winning goal with just three and a half minutes remaining of extra time. Ross McLaren, his third goal of the season, second in the Littlewoods Cup, through a crowd of Bolton players and into the back of the net. He may well have prevented yet another replay and put Swindon through to the fourth round of the Littlewoods Cup. Swindon Town 2, about Wanderers 1. And the Swindon bench are all up now. They're going to make another substitution. Sean Close is going to come on to replace Steve White, who's had a magnificent game. What a great ovation he gets. Phil Neal plays the ball forward. Two and a half minutes remaining. Thompson. Bowden. No problem with that clearance. Straight in the north stand. The referee looking at his watch and will make an adjustment. Swindon so keen to mark now. Very tightly indeed. They're not going to throw this one away. Last two minutes. Thompson way by Gittins good strong challenge Cadrill tries to get it across and straight through to Digby corner so perhaps there's drama yet
Corner inside that six-yard box and uh, headed behind. Another corner to Bolton Wanderers in the last minute of extra time. Swindon two, a Bolton one. Thompson with the throw in for Bolton Wanderers. Way by Gittins, just manages to get the toe in on the end of that one. Shot from uh, Dean Crombie and uh, way over the top of the bar. And the referee comes across to Fraser Digby and says, hurry up, we haven't got a lot long left and uh, Bolton, I think, deserve the respect to get on with the game. Last 30 seconds then of extra time. Is Galvin crossing the halfway line now, perhaps to get a third Swindon goal, which would certainly seal it. Facing Cowdrill. Here's McLaughlin. Back to Galvin, back to McLaughlin. Playing possession football at the moment, Swindon, but not quite able to do so. And um, McLaughlin has a real severe case of cramp by the looks of him. He's down and in some discomfort. Here's Galvin. Down he goes, free kick. Kevin Morris comes out to treat Alan McLaughlin and uh, a severe touch of the cramp by the looks of things. And after a strength sapping 120 minutes, I'm not surprised. So this free kick somewhat delayed for the treatment to Alan McLaughlin who seems okay again although uh, cramp is never a nice thing to get on a football field. It's Paul Bowden and Ross McLaren who will take this free kick. McLaren drives over it, comes to uh, Paul Bowden who drives wide of that Bolton goal. Felgate in great hurry now to take this particular free uh, goal kick. And we're well into injury time at the end of extra time. Phil Neal, far side of the field for Bolton Wanderers. And the final whistle goes. Swindon Town at last have seen off Bolton Wanderers in the third round of the Littlewoods Cup. The fourth meeting between the sides, living up to the drama of the previous three. Steve White put Swindon in front in the 59th minute. Mark came level for Bolton. And then just three and a half minutes before the end of extra time, Ross McLaren with his third goal of the season. Sealed Swindon fourth round tie against Southampton at the county ground. Manager Ozzy Ardiles obviously delighted and very sportingly shaking the hands of the Bolton players and how well they deserve it. Paul Comstiff very influential over the four games. And there is Alan McLaughlin with that severe cramp at the end of the game being carried off by Eddie Buckley and Kevin Morris. Standing ovation from the 11,200 crowd here at the county ground for both sets of players and how well they deserve it. It's Swindon Town who go through to the fourth round of the Littlewoods Cup with Southampton. Bolton Wanderers will have to concentrate on the third division. Tremendous game of football, tremendous four games of football. The final score from the county ground, Swindon Town 2, Bolton Wanderers 1.
do for an encore after all that, really. Yeah, that must be one of the toughest games we've had for a while, you know. I mean, they've come here in the battle well again, you know. There's nothing between us. You just took a goal just at the end to kill them off. And that shot right at the end there, a killer blow for them, of course. What actually happened on the goal? It just come across and just... It was that Tony Gal when I shouted for me and I just I hit it and I just I just see it going in the corner and it was away. It wasn't the most powerful shots you've ever hit, was it? No, it wasn't that powerful. I think the keeper was a wee bit unsafe for the ball. So but delighted. But once again, I mean over 120 minutes, hardly anything between the two sides. No, nothing between the two sides. I mean they've they have battled very well, I mean for a third division team. I mean they've played great. I mean they've played three three, one each, one each, and we just beat them at the end here. As a series of games, is that the toughest you've ever played in? Yes, I mean the cup tight has been over the all the time we've played them. I mean, I mean they've come, they've competed well, they've played the ball well. I mean, tremendous have been. If sides have successful cup runs, they often point to little moments that have turned their way in over the series of games. And if you cast your mind back to Burnham Park, you were just eight seconds from going out, weren't you, when the, the ball hit the crossbar up there? Things like that go for you, don't they? Yes, I mean you need a wee bit of luck at the end, you know. I mean, we were saying that Ghetto ducked, and he did duck. I mean, and the boy hit the bar. Then they took the lead by a great goal, and don't score a great goal. I mean, it just swings and roundabouts, isn't it? So it's back to the league on Sunday, and then of course uh, Southampton still to come here. Yes, I mean we won't think about Southampton. We're going to go and try and get three points off Portsmouth. Then we'll take the cup tie after that. Nice, lovely. Uh, quite a game to pick, really. Yeah, it was a tough one, wasn't it? I think the lads played really well tonight. All credit to Bolton League. I've been one 0 down. They come right back into it. You certainly had, couldn't have a tougher test for your ankle. How is it now? Well, it, it just gets better, stronger every day and that. It's not really my ankle now, it's just a fitness side, you know. But as you said, I couldn't have got to pick the harder game tonight. Thanks for minutes an extra time. <laughs> I was going to say, it's tougher than a t uh, training session, I would imagine, is it? Only about 50 times tougher. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think of Bolton over the series of matches? Well, I, I only seen him down here when it was 3-3 and he played really well. And tonight, you couldn't fault him again for effort tonight. Um, I, I never seen the, the two games of Bolton, but I believe they were just as exciting. Just tonight. Certainly seemed to be nothing between the two sides over the four games. No, it was, I mean, someone's got to lose, and it's a pity really that Bolton had to lose overall, but, you know, it's nice to win 2-1, and to get the goal two minutes from time was to be in a bit of a sickness for them, but that's football, I suppose. Uh, how would you feel if you were one of their players? I mean, it must really be a bit of a low point, wasn't it? Well, yeah, you don't, you don't really know what to say to them at the end of the game, really, because four games, I was looking forward to seeing them again. <laughs> here or at Bolton, so I think everyone had their eyes on another game, but all credit, yeah. all credit to Ross, he, he scored with two minutes to go. So finally you've got Southampton at home, a uh, good tie for you? Yeah, there should be a good atmosphere here, full house, and hopefully we can play as, as well as tonight, as we as well as tonight as we will then, hopefully. And you're feeling no effects from that ankle at the moment? Well, a, a little bit of discomfort, but it doesn't stop me running. You must feel at this particular moment in time. Well, I don't know. I mean, obviously disappointed that we've uh, we've tried and and uh, it's been a great series of games uh, and we come out uh, obviously losers in the in the end after a four four game race. Um, yeah, obviously disappointed, but no, not disappointed in in the fact that my lads gave everything and I thought there was very little between the teams and uh, and the people that have paid uh, whatever they've paid to see the the four games have have been rewarded with. I feel some some good entertaining kind of football, and that's pleased me no end. It's always bad to lose, of course, no matter when the goals are scored. But just a few minutes from the end of extra time, that's pretty bad, really. Yeah, but I said like I think twice, um, two games ago, that I think very often you find that a cup tie, when people are getting tired, is is won by a deflection, and, and I think it came off Paul Comstock in the end. I don't know who struck the ball, but uh, that can very often happen. So your lads certainly have given you no grounds to be. Uh upset with them. I mean, they've been battled really superbly over the four games. No, they've, they've, they've done themselves proud and me proud and, and the club proud and uh, we can only hope that, uh, you know, they try and achieve that in a week-to-week -week basis. Hopefully we'll be playing Swindon in the not-too-distant future in the second division. This must give you great confidence for the league campaign. Well, it does. It should give them uh, a lot of confidence. We try and make them believe in themselves and uh, this, this run won't have done us any harm whatsoever. Of course, you did miss several key players tonight as well. Yeah, well, I'm saying you're going to have to do that through, uh, hold on, uh, through the season. Um, so, yeah, but I'm saying you don't very often lose your strike force. Um, um, so it is difficult to cope, but I thought we coped very, very well. The lads who came in uh, gave everything, and that's all you can ask for as a player. Um, and I'm proud of them. Excellent. You've seen off Bolton, but uh, tremendous side they are.
Yeah, there are some in the side. They were uh, a bit decimated today, but uh, they come in a very, very professional way to, to do a job. And uh, we have a lot of position in the in the game. I believe that we were the, the better team all, all the time. And uh, it was we, we could only break with four minutes to go, but I, I'm happy that we did it that way. Even throughout tonight's game, as it has in the previous three, uh, it's been nip and tuck all the way, hasn't it? Very close indeed. Very close indeed, yeah. It's a, it's a cup game, really, and all cup games are like that. Until the very last minute, we you can rest. Um, it happened in the first game when, when they scored in the very last minute. It's happened in the second game when we scored straight away after they scored in the third game, and, and, and today as well. Even when Ross McLaren got the second one tonight, did you still feel there was a little doubt in it? I was starting to, to breathe a little bit easier at the time, <laughs> yes. So you've got first division opposition now in the shape of Southampton. How do you view that one? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a very difficult game, of course. Uh, it's a good side, it's a football inside. Uh, it could create problem to, to anybody. They create a lot of problem to Liverpool, so they can create problem to us. But uh, at the moment, I am I am very confident with my boys. Uh, the, the team spirit is absolutely excellent. The, the attitude, the, the work rate, everything. Everybody gives absolutely 100% today, so I, I can afford more. So um, I think I'm, we are pretty confident for Wednesday. And Alan McLaughlin right at the end, was that just touchy cramp? Touch of cramp, yes, nothing wrong with him. So you'll be all right for Sunday? Definitely, yeah. OK, lovely, thank you. So the darkness falls on the county ground at the end of another pulsating game between Swindon Town and Bolton Wanderers. At the end of the fourth match between the sides, Swindon are now through to the last 16 of the Littlewoods Cup, where they'll face first division at Southampton here at the county ground. Steve White put the Wiltshire side in front with his ninth goal of the season, a close-range header after Alan McLaughlin had flicked on a corner. But Mark came put Bolton back in the game when he forced home from a defensive mistake by the Swindon Town rear guard. It looked as though we'd be in for yet another replay between the two sides, but it wasn't to be. Just a few moments from the end, Ross McLaren hit a shot from 20 yards out, which escaped the clutches of David Felgate and found its way into the back of the Bolton Wanderers' net. Four terrific games between the two sides, nothing between them over those hundred and hundreds of minutes of football. Tremendous excitement throughout the whole of them. And uh, Bolton Wanderers, if they're not promoted to Division 2, well, I should be very surprised indeed. The final score, Swindon Town 2, Bolton Wanderers 1.